Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good Wednesday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. Seems like a lot is happening this week. Uh, actually, even the uh, Shared Services Awards is happening. Uh, CE Shared Services Awards is happening. Uh, conference and awards this today and tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, a lot going on with the, our Europa Property Real Estate Guides. If you didn't notice, if you haven't seen them yet, they are done and they are out. You can pick up a copy of it right now or you can get a copy also at MIPIN. If you want one early, definitely come by the offices. More than happy to give you some copies. Um, we've got these out also. They're on the way to, to Cannes and we've got distribution throughout the fair, throughout the hotels. Um, a lot happening there during MIPIN. Um, some of you have asked if we've got anything going on. Yes, we do. On the second day at 3 p.m., we have a cocktail party at our stand, which is H um, P minus one H75. It's right on the corner, so come on down. We've got some nice canapes, some wines. Uh, three o'clock, three to three to four. So. Pop in as close to three as you can. A lot going on there. A lot of uh, interesting contacts from Central Eastern Europe uh, and Southeastern Europe as well, doing business in those regions. Um, also, straight after that, I think, uh, Winston, we have our shortlist coming out soon for the SCE uh, Real Estate Awards. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, Craig. Yeah, I think uh, on Thursday we will... Uh... We will, we'll be ready to announce the shortlist. Wow, okay. So the jury is voting on the nominations now for the SCE uh, Real Estate Awards, which is our, our 18th annual uh, event down in Romania at the uh, Radisson Blue. So um, keep an eye out tomorrow for the shortlist. And if you, if you haven't signed up yet for the SCE Awards or... Uh, you know, this is a great event, really the flagship event for uh, for the region and for Romania. So we hope to see you all down there. If you're looking to expand down there, you're doing any business in Romania, Bulgaria, Moldova. We've got a lot of people, a few people coming up from Moldova. Um, very interesting. And I guess some nominations throughout the region, some from Serbia, I remember, Serbia, Ljubljana. Yeah, we've got pretty much the whole region represented. Represented, so, uh, great. And, uh, so, yeah, so it's, it's a good mixture and uh, should be a good crowd. A lot happening, yeah, yeah. Big crowd uh, coming down for that. So we definitely want you all to join us uh, for that. And then, uh, and then, well, then we're taking a little break. Not really a break, but May. We've got a lot happening in May. May 11th is our CEO Awards in uh, Serbia at the, uh, at the uh, Hilton Belgrade, our CEO uh, Awards, it's our nomination launch party, actually. The awards is later, but nomination launch. And then uh, in Cannes, we have our retail marketplace CEE, also covering a lot in SEE region. Uh, retailers coming, metaverse guys coming, um, you know, uh, augment, uh, augmented reality guys coming for retail. A lot happening, of course, retailers, shopping center owners, and the retail location owners. A lot of tech, a lot of... Um, um, also on the leisure side. And then May 25th, the last event before summer, is our Balt Europa Property Baltic Awards in Sopot. And that's covering the Baltics, of course. So, of course, Poland, uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Scandinavia, the Nordics. And so we hope to all see you there. A lot of fun there. Any of the events you want to go to, the magazines to pick up, drop me a quick message. We're always happy to, uh, to, 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 to talk to you. Also at MIPIN, if you're at MIPIN and you would like to do one of the interviews for the Coffee with Craig uh, show, please let us know. We've got some great opportunities still, still available a few weeks before summer as well, still, still open for uh, sponsorship. So we'll take a little break and um, we'll come right back with Winston Norman, our editor-in-chief, with the highlights of the Europa Property News for this Wednesday.
So welcome back and uh, good Wednesday morning. We're here uh, with Winston Norman, to, for our editor-in-chief, to hear about the uh, late-breaking news for the your real estate. Yeah, thanks, like, Craig. Nice introduction. Uh, yeah, we've got, um, we'll start with uh, Cushman and Wakefield, and they've announced uh, their findings for the investment market for Central Eastern Europe from 2022. Mm -hmm. And it was a very good year, good recovery, yeah, they say. Okay. And uh, 10.7 billion euros was invested throughout the region, which was uh, a 6.6% year on year rise. And uh, around one and a half of that was invested in Poland, which is no big surprise. But right, yeah. Poland usually leads the way across the region, it's, it's the biggest country. And, yeah. Uh, Always has the lion's share of the money. The lion's share of the money, that's correct. And uh, the lion's share of that money went to mostly offices in 2022, mm -hmm. particularly in Poland, but also Romania uh, closed a fair amount of uh, office deals. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of that was uh, CMO. They, they moved out of Romania. Right, right. And um, yeah, so that was a big, big, big chunk there. And mm -hmm. um, industrial has had a bit of a bit of a quieter year for industrial. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, lack of product. Mm -hmm. And... Um, also, there's, um, but there is uh, generally a high interest rate environment, which is, you know, uh, causing people to think twice. Sure. And uh, according to Jeff Alson, he's international partner at Cushman and Whitefield, he says uh, last year also saw a gradual expansion of interest towards retail assets, including shopping centers. However, the most consistent demand was reported for retail warehouses due to the unwavering popularity of e-commerce. Hmm. Uh, moving to Romania and uh, Accor is to open a new Mercure Hotel in the, in the capital, in Bucharest, and that's oh. to open in 2023. And it's to open in a fully refurbished building located, located in uh, Unri Square, which is near the, uh, the old city centre. And according to um, Maria Dragulen, she's the Accor Development Director for Romania in the region. Uh, over the past years, we commit to growing Accor's presence in new destinations across Romania, thus bringing new hosp hospitality standards and services to key cities of our country, but nevertheless, Bucharest remains a key market in our portfolio. Yeah, and yeah, we're a, lot, a lot of development going on in Bucharest. Yeah, Bucharest, it's a lot exciting, of hotels going. Exciting you know? market mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, moving to Austria today, and uh, CTP have, have um, recognised the the demand here for modern and sustainable logistics uh, in in Austria, mm -hmm. and uh, they've already fully leased their uh, CT Park Vienna East, which was fifty one thousand square meters. And uh, construction has started on their second project in the country, which is an 84,000 square meter uh, CT park, St. Paul and North, which is about 75 kilometers uh, away from the Austrian capital. And but according to uh, Daniel Pfeiffer, he's the senior business development director at uh, CTP Austria. Mm -hmm. The rapid growth of CTP's business in Austria within a short time frame confirms our calculation that the market was previously underserviced for modern sustainable logistics space. And uh, that park is due to come online or well, the first part of that park in quarter three, 2023. Right. Well, it's a good, good, good country to have your offices in as well. I mean, yeah, I think and, and it's just... centrally located, you know, mm. all, all the main routes are going through that country. So yeah, yeah it's CE, Germany, hub. you got it all. Yeah, that's right. And uh, ending on the uh, logistics uh, sector for today and Salad Story, which is one of the largest health food restaurants in Poland, at least, at least some new office space, uh, warehouse and office space in the Warsaw Distribution Center. Uh, they were represented by Newmark. And uh, Salad Story is going to become one of the largest uh, health food restaurants in Poland. And uh, they chose a Warsaw Distribution Center because of its good location and the size of the unit. And they can uh, springboard uh, to, for possible further growth throughout the region. Right. I guess everything has to be fresh if they're sending it to Salad Last story. mile, I guess, yeah. is very important for uh, Salad Story. Yeah, and always a great place to eat. So, uh, well... Um, so that's all we have for today. Yeah, those are the highlights for today. All right. Well, thank you all for watching the Coffee with Craig show. And ladies, women, we wish you all a happy Women's Day, a happy International Women's Day as well. So uh, from us, just you can have some digital flowers from us. And enjoy the day. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show. And don't forget to share it with your friends.